I B I B L E, and this is what it says to me. It tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J E S U S came down to us and gave his best. Without a doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need. So I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, he cares. When you see, he's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, he cares. When you see, he's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. Tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J E S U S came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. Good morning. My name is Molly Schulze, and I'm the Kids Ministry Coordinator at the Oak Hill Campus. I'm so happy to be with you once again today. We pray that last Sunday you all had a wonderful Easter together. Our online chat is going on right now, so if you'd like to join in on that conversation, we'd love to see you there. Today our story is from the book of John, and it's about how Jesus forgives Peter. We have all been forgiven, just as Peter was by Jesus dying on the cross. And today there's a word in our story, and the word is redeemed. Redeemed means that because of Jesus dying on the cross, all of the blame and the consequences that we should have because of our sin are erased. As you watch the story today, I want you to pay close attention to something. And I have some objects for you kids that I'd like you to take a look at. The first is the book Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The second object I'd like to show you, my first grader helped me with, is a triangle. I want you to think about right now, what do you think these two objects have in common? If you guess the number three, you're correct. A triangle has three sides, and there were three bears in Goldilocks and the three bears. So today, as we watch our video, I want you to be looking for how the number three shows up in our story on how Jesus forgives Peter. Let's watch our video now. The Miracle of Mercy, Peter. This is Peter. Hey-oh! 
Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus and he heard all of his teachings. When the time came for Jesus to die and take away the sins of all the world, Jesus had one final meal with his friends. During this meal, Jesus told his followers that the time had come for him to leave them. Huh? Peter asked, where are you going? Jesus told him Peter couldn't follow him now. What? But that he would follow him later. What is that? But Peter said, why can't I come now? I'm ready to die for you. Jesus said, die for me, Peter. Before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even knew me. Then Jesus and his disciples went to the Mount of Olives so Jesus could pray. Along the way, Jesus told his followers that they would all abandon him. Uh -oh. But Peter said, even if everyone else leaves you, I never will. Jesus said, Peter, this very night, before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. But Peter wouldn't believe it and vowed that he would stay with Jesus until the very end. The other disciples vowed the same. Yeah, I Later on that night, Jesus was arrested by men sent by the religious teachers and priests. Peter tried to fight for Jesus and he cut off the ear of one of the guards. Ow. But Jesus healed the guard uh -huh. and went quietly with the captors. All the disciples scattered just as Jesus told them they would. The men led Jesus away to the house of the high priest. Peter and another disciple followed them. Peter came to warm himself by their fire. Ah, uh, hello. <gasps> A servant girl noticed him in the firelight. Huh? Finally, she said, this man was one of Jesus' followers. Oh, ma? But Peter denied it for the first time. He said, I don't even know him. <sighs> After a while, someone else looked at him and said, you must be one of them. Oh. Peter for a second time said, no, I'm not. Uh, okay. <sighs> About an hour later, a man who knew the man whose ear Peter cut off said, didn't I see you in the olive grove with Jesus? This must be one of them. He comes from the same place as all of them. Yeah, you're right. But Peter said, no, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. And then Peter heard the crow of the rooster. <laughs> Jesus turned and looked at Peter. Jesus' words flashed through his mind and Peter left the courtyard weeping. Then Jesus died and was placed in a tomb. The disciples heard that he had come back from the dead. Peter even saw the empty tomb and believed that Jesus was alive again. And Jesus appeared to the disciples to show him that he was alive. Some of Jesus' followers were together when Peter said, I am going fishing. Okay. So they all went out to the sea, but caught nothing all night. At dawn, they saw a man standing on the beach. Oh, hey, over here. The man called out to them and said, have you caught any fish? Nope. The man said, throw out your net on the right side and you'll get some. Uh, okay. So they did, and they couldn't bring in the net because there were so many fish in it. Then one of the men on the boat said to Peter, it's Jesus. When Peter heard that it was Jesus, he swam to the shore while the others pulled in the load to the boat. When they got there, they found breakfast waiting for them. Mm -hmm, I miss a fish. Got it. Jesus said, come have some breakfast. While they were eating, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, you know I love you. So Jesus said, then feed my lambs. Then Jesus asked again, do you love me? Peter said again, 
yes, you know I love you. And Jesus said, then take care of my sheep. And then a third time, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. So he said, you know everything. You know that I love you. So Jesus said one last time, then feed my sheep. And so Peter went on to feed Jesus' sheep by helping establish the church and by writing books that we can now read in the Bible. And though he denied Jesus, he was forgiven. And many came to know the love and forgiveness of Jesus through Peter. That story shows us that we have been forgiven just as Jesus forgave and redeemed Peter. Did you notice how often the number three came up in that Bible story? At the beginning, Peter denies Jesus three times before he was crucified. But then when Jesus and Peter were having breakfast on the beach together, Jesus asks Peter three times, do you love me? And each time Peter responds with the response, yes, Lord. And then Jesus asks Peter to show that if he truly loves Jesus, that Peter will go out and take care of his people, which is exactly what Peter did. So kids, I hope you remember this week that you are loved, you are redeemed, and you are a child of God. This week, our Remember verse is from Romans, and Romans was written by Paul. And parents, we hope that you'll take some time to memorize this verse. And we've condensed it a little bit for you in your lesson this week that you can look over. But I wanted to read it to you from Romans. And it's Romans 8, starting at verse 38. I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. This week, kids, go about your week knowing that you are loved, you are redeemed, and there is nothing that can separate you from God's love. We hope you'll complete your Kids Link lesson as a family now and then stay along to worship as a WLC family. Have a great week.
And it is well.